In this short lecture, I'm going to respond to Rami question related to the difference between money weighted rate of return and the time weighted rate of return. So let's start by illustrating the main differences. Okay. The first difference is that the money weighted rate of return affected by the timing of deposit or withdrawal of the cash flow. In contrast, time weighted rate of return does not affect it by the timing or deposit or withdrawal of the investment or cash flow. It's not affected. The second difference, money weighted rate of return computed using internal rate of return IRR while in contrast time with rate of return computed using geometric mean okay as a portfolio manager you may measure rate of return in different ways or in different formats for the accounts that is subject for your management our focus here gonna be to cover only money weighted rate of return computu computation as the time weighted rate of return. So let's uh, start by money weighted rate of return. So let's suppose that you are a portfolio manager and one of your investor just gave you or opened a new account and deposit a $50 to be invested in XYZ stock. So, the cash flow, the first cash flow that can be received is what? A positive 50. You invest this stock, this amount in XYZ stock during the period of investment, the dividend generated by this stock equal to the $1. The market price at the end of the period going to be equal a 60 dollar so which is mean in an increment of ten dollar by the end of the first period by the end of the first period the same investor just gave you another sixty dollar to be invested in the same stock so the cash flow the second cash flow gonna be equal a uh, sixty but you have to pay for this investor a one dollar dividend the net amount gonna be 59 during the period each stock generate a one dollar dividend multiplied by two gonna be equal two dollar dividend the market price at the end of the period gonna be equal to 65 which is mean an increment of five dollar per stock but unfortunately, this investor requested you to withdraw all the amount and to close his account. So the account value going to be equal zero at the end of the second period. So the cash flow at the third cash flow going to be equal a 65 multiplied by two going to be a hundred thirty minus because you're gonna pay it for this customer another two dollar minus cash out of law gonna pay it for the same customer which is equal a hundred thirty two okay at the end of the period the account the amount the the value of the account gonna be zero so what is the rate of return what is the discount rate that gonna be equal lead to this account to equal zero it's the same concept of IRR internal rate of return accordingly we're gonna discount all those cash flow to the IRR that lead us to equal to zero by using Texas instrument you can calculate it or compute it easily and we can get an amount of equal 13 point 86 now we can understand how the timing 
or deposit or withdrawal affects the calculation of money weighted rate of return the timing which period the deposit positive withdrawal negative it's negative how it affects the computation of calculating money weighted rate of return and how we use IRR to compute money weighted rate of return now let's turn or it's a flip to time weighted rate of return okay now let's implement our previous example on time weighted rate of return before our implementation let's refer back to the first and second difference for time weighted rate of return that time weighted rate of return is not affected by the timing of deposit or withdrawal of the investment and it's computed by using geometric mean okay accordingly time weighted rate of return will not be affected by the sign here positive the deposit of cash flow or the withdrawal of the cash out of flow it will not be affected accordingly time with rate of return gonna use holding period yield hp1 gonna be equal h1 the value of the investment at the end of the period minus the value of the investment at the beginning of the period h0 plus any stream of income here the dividend divided by h0 equal 60 minus 50 plus 1 divided by 50 equal to 22 percent HPY2 equal H2 minus H1 plus dividend divided by H1 accordingly if we can remember that based on the investor request we purchased another stock accordingly multiply by 2 dividend gonna be multiplied by 2 h2 gonna be multiplied by 2 130 minus 120 plus 2 divided by 120 which equal to 10 percent the second difference that time with the rate of return gonna be computed using geometric mean okay as mentioned previously hpy1 equal to 22 percent hpy2 equal 10 percent to compute time with the rate of return using the geometric mean we gonna square it to according to the number of holding period yields which equal to 1.22 multiply by 1.1 in order to get rid of from the square from the square we gonna root hp1 and hp2 and in order to get rid of from the one we're gonna subtract one here accordingly time weighted rate of return equal to 1.22 multiplied by 1.1 1 to the square root minus 1 which equal to 15.84 percent at the final note time weighted rate of return is the most preferable uh, rate of return that used by the portfolio 
manager on the investment arena okay let's wrap it up now hopefully that this lecture illustrate the main differences the more time you read it you hear it you write it the more likely to remember it on the exam day and then you can forget it okay good luck studying